in DXO, you have this control point. It literally look like that. And uh, just to be precise, instead of a color overlay, I'm going to change it to black and white. For instance, you have this U point, the color point, and Nikon NX Studio, they call it the color control points. Don't forget to go down in the description below to check out all the discounts and reductions and special offers available for different softwares. Thank you. Let's see the difference or similarity. Now, this is how big or small. To be precise, where the effect is happening, you have to go at the, the bottom of this, this tool. You have to check show affected area. Now, what happens is that it's actually wherever you pointing it out, it is going to pick up the color and apply every single effect on it. And if you want to know where exactly this um, this this affecting, which color that is affecting, you can see the color picker here. And every time you change the location, for instance, there's a good chance that color picker will change the color too. Let's let's be let's be more precise. So I'm going to check it, put it on, let's say in green, and immediately you see that color picker changing the color. If I move it on to this tower here, which is yellow, and I'm going to put it on, and you see the color picker is changing the color, which is strange because the moment that is you check the show affected area, you won't see the color picker anymore because um, it's only become black and white, so obviously um, it's affecting on the white area, but it doesn't really matter. So if you're not using the show affected area, for example, and you still want to know where the effect is going to be happening, is happening, you have to, you, have to, you can check the color picker. I apologize for my, you know, mumbling because sometimes uh, I mix up English with French because I normally speak French, but now I'm speaking English, so I'm kind of messing up. My humble apology. But I really hope that you understand what I'm talking about. So, if this video is very helpful to you until this point, then I highly appreciate your help. If you go down into description below and click in the links necessary in order to chip in some money for coffee so that I can make more videos for you and for myself as well. And thank you for watching this video. In Nikon NX Studio, when you're using this color control point, you can make it bigger or smaller to be precise. And that's about it. So the depends on your size. It will apply only on the similar area you see that the similar type of area for example here you have the yellow at the bottom you have this uh, street light so if i turn this one on you see that is only applying on this yellow zone yellow color so that's how it works it does not precise anything else so if you want to apply for instance if i turn this one off if uh, if you want to apply the effect on on the bridge where this uh, green kind of i think it's green or aqua blue uh, a zone you have to apply a second color, uh, color control point and apply on that that's why it's called color control point because it's only will be apl applicable on the color zone of the area where the DxO uh, photo lab, the control point, you see, it both have the similar common name control point, but it does not say color or light. Because in DxO, for instance, if I do exact same thing, uh, if I do exact same thing, which is here, we see that not only 
it's selecting the yellow zone that I picked up and I'm going to change the max to black and white you can with the slider here you can apply on Luma area hey guys and welcome to my youtube channel there are a lot of promo code and discount code available in my description i highly recommend you to go down in the description below and use the promo code to get special discounts it will allow me to continue this youtube channel thank you so much for your understanding or surrounding area as well a little bit very subtly and also with the chroma which is the color it can either be very very precise on uh, on, uh, precise on the yellow or orange or it can spread out a little bit so you have much better you know uh, control on your control point it doesn't really mean that the Nikon is useless I mean come on for a free software it's already fantastic that just based on the color you can apply your you know your hue saturation brightness contrast you can control the different color channel the red green and blue and the warmth for instance now i'm going to make it pretty less yellow or more yellow more warm but and that's about it here the control point kind of stops there we can apl apply the control point uh, on the color and then you can just change pretty much that's it nothing more where the DxO photo lab the control point you have the control over the light and the color for example chroma or luma which is the brightness you also can change exposure typical highlight mid-tone shadow blacks you can apply your clear view plus you can control the contrast macro contrast you can use the famous hsl here the hue saturation and luma which is pretty much you have it here too for your hue h s and brightness brightness is b hsb and hsl pretty much the same uh, you can control the sharpness locally or blur locally so you have much better control on dxo photo lab however it's pretty amazing uh, what you can do in a Nikon NX Studio for a free software. So that's my little take on the color control point on Nikon NX Studio and a control point on DxO Photo Lab. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Take care of yourself and bye bye.